Shout out to my grandma. That's the only way she can hear. A group of men wearing clown masks rob a mob bank, planning to split the loot. They believe a sixth member, the Joker, who planned the heist but didn't join in, shouldn't get a share. During the heist, the robbers turn on each other to get more money, until only one remains. This last robber, revealed to be the Joker himself, escapes in a school bus full of stolen cash, leaving behind chaos and a stunned bank manager with a harmless gas grenade. At night in Gotham, criminals are scared to act because of the bat signal in the sky. Lieutenant James Gordon is with Detective Anna Ramirez by the bat signal, unsure if Batman will show, but hopeful he's busy helping elsewhere. They briefly discuss Ramirez's mother's hospitalization. Elsewhere, the Scarecrow, who escaped from Arkham Asylum, is dealing drugs with the Russian mob when fake Batman interrupt, trying to fight crime. Scarecrow dismisses them as imposters for using guns, something Batman wouldn't do. Suddenly, the real Batman shows up in his Batmobile, scaring off the criminals and disabling one of the fake Batman, proving he's the true Batman. The Chechen uses his dogs to attack, but Batman saves the imposter Batman, even getting bitten. Scarecrow tries to escape in a van, but Batman stops him after a brief chase. Batman leaves Scarecrow, the fake Batman, and some mobsters tied up for the police, dismissing the imposter's offer to help. At the sight of the Joker's bank robbery, Gordon and Ramirez find the Joker's picture on a security camera. Batman, examining the scene, mentions they've tagged the stolen money for tracking. When asked about the Joker, Batman stresses the bigger issue is the entire mob, not just one man. Bruce Wayne, healing from a dog bite, watches Harvey Dent closely on his computers, questioning Dent's trustworthiness. Alfred worries Bruce is also concerned about Dent's relationship with Rachel Dawes. In court, Harvey Dent and Rachel Dawes face mobster Salvatore Moroni. A failed assassination attempt on Dent leads to Moroni's temporary freedom, frustrating Dent. Later, Dent and Lieutenant Gordon discuss their mutual suspicion of corruption within their teams. Dent expresses a desire to meet Batman. Agreeing to support Dent's request for search warrants to target mob money, they form a shaky alliance. Gordon praises Dent as Gotham's White Knight, but Dent probes Gordon about a mysterious nickname from his past, which Gordon denies knowing. Lucius Fox and Bruce Wayne meet with Law for a business deal, but decide against it, suspecting illegal activities. Bruce also asks for a new lighter suit to improve his agility and head movement for his Batman activities. Harvey and Rachel have dinner at a high-end restaurant, where they unexpectedly join Bruce and his date. Initially, Bruce is jealous of Harvey, Rachel's date, but warms up to him after Harvey expresses support for Batman. Bruce then offers to host a big fundraiser for Harvey. At a secret meeting, mob leaders learn from law, via video from a plane, that their money is safely moved to one place, avoiding a police raid led by Lieutenant Gordon. They discuss the Joker, who previously stole from them, but consider him insignificant. Then, the Joker appears, demonstrating his ruthlessness and criticizing the mob's fear of Batman. He proposes killing Batman for half their funds, hints at Law's unreliability, and leaves after showing his explosives to deter threats, leaving a Joker card as his contact. He also predicts Batman will pursue Law. Harvey Dent and Gordon use the bat signal to call Batman, discussing the loss of mob money and the need to bring back law for information. Batman, not bound by legal limits, agrees to retrieve law. Bruce Wayne gets a new suit from Fox and plans a trip to Hong Kong to apprehend law under the guise of business with Fox. Meanwhile, Gamble is tricked into thinking the Joker is dead, but the Joker surprises him, takes him out, and then offers a deadly challenge to Gamble's men, giving them a chance to join his crew but only providing one spot, forcing them into a violent competition. Fox goes to Hong Kong, sneaks a modified cell phone into Law's building to create a sonar map, and leaves another phone to cut the power. Batman then captures Law and escapes. In Gotham, under pressure from Rachel, Law agrees to give the names and financial details of the mobsters, enabling Dent and Gordon to build a strong legal case against them. Gordon and the police arrest mob members tipped off by Law, and a Joker card is found among the arrest documents. 
Dent publicly praises the police and denies Batman's involvement. Dent, Gordon, and the mayor discuss the indictment's impact, predicting clean streets but attracting the ire of Gotham's criminals towards Dent. A grim message from the Joker arrives as a deceased imposter Batman is found outside the mayor's window, signaling the Joker's deadly intentions. Bruce and Alfred see a news report of the Joker threatening to kill Daly until Batman reveals his identity. At Harvey Dent's fundraiser in Wayne's penthouse, Bruce Wayne arrives and publicly supports Dent, seeing him as the hero Gotham needs, which might allow Bruce to stop being Batman. Dent thanks Bruce and goes to speak with him and Rachel. Gordon finds DNA from Loeb, Dent, and Judge Cirillo on a Joker card, seeing it as a threat. Unfortunately, the judge is killed in a car explosion, and Loeb is poisoned before Gordon can save him. Dent proposes to Rachel, but she's undecided. When the Joker's threat looms, Bruce quickly hides Dent in a closet to protect him, urging Rachel to stay hidden as well. The Joker crashes a party looking for Harvey Dent, but when Rachel confronts him, he shares a tragic tale about his scars before threatening her. Batman intervenes, saving Rachel from a fall after the Joker drops her from a window. The next day, Bruce contemplates the Joker's motives. Alfred shares a story from Burma, illustrating that some people, like the Joker, act chaotically, not for gain but to cause havoc, concluding they just want to see the world burn. Batman, using cell phone surveillance, learns of a threat against Harvey Dent. Gordon, Batman, and Ramirez find two officers killed, names implying a message from the Joker, who also hints at the mayor's impending death. At Wayne Enterprises, accountant Coleman Reese tries to blackmail Lucius Fox, claiming he knows Bruce Wayne is Batman and demands payment for silence. Fox coolly dismisses the threat, highlighting the folly of trying to blackmail someone as powerful as Batman. Fox and Wayne analyze a bullet to find a fingerprint, leading Bruce to act on his own investigation. Bruce finds the fingerprint's location at an apartment with a view of Commissioner Loeb's funeral. Inside, he discovers kidnapped men who say their uniforms and guns were taken. During the funeral, as snipers aim at a window time to open, the Joker, disguised and among the honor guard, attempts to assassinate the mayor. Gordon heroically intercepts the bullet, seemingly getting shot. Amidst the chaos, a suspect is captured with a name tag labeled Officer Rachel Dawes. Dent warns Rachel, she's the Joker's next target, urging her to hide at Bruce's secured penthouse, expressing his love without hearing her response. After Gordon is believed to be killed, his wife blames Batman for Gotham's turmoil, while their son sees Batman watching sorrowfully. Batman confronts Moroni in a club, seeking the Joker. After incapacitating Moroni's men and dropping Moroni from a ledge, Batman learns Moroni doesn't know the Joker's location, because the Joker is unpredictable and unaligned. Dent, using a threatening and erratic method, interrogates a suspect with a coin flip. Batman interrupts, criticizes Dent's methods, and reveals the suspect is mentally ill and won't provide useful information. Batman suggests Dent hold a press conference to turn himself in, aiming to draw out the Joker. Dent protests Batman's surrender plan. Bruce debates turning himself in as Batman to stop the Joker, despite Rachel's warning it won't work and could ruin their chance at a normal life. They destroy evidence linking their allies to Batman, with Alfred urging Bruce to let Batman do what's necessary for Gotham. At a press conference, Dent tries to defend Batman and resist the Joker's terror, but public fear prevails. In a surprising move, Dent claims he is Batman to protect the real one, leaving Bruce shocked and confused. Rachel criticizes Bruce for not stepping forward as Batman, but Alfred explains Batman's role transcends heroism, able to endure blame for Gotham's greater good. Rachel leaves a letter with Alfred for Bruce, meant for a future time. During Harvey's transport to jail, he implies his arrest is part of a plan to lure and capture the Joker, using a coin flip to symbolize the gamble. He reveals the coin is double-headed, showing his intention to follow through regardless of chance. During Harvey Dent's transport, the Joker attacks with a semi-truck and RPGs. Batman intervenes with the tumbler, which is heavily damaged, leading to Batman ejecting on the Batpod. 
Batman uses the Batbutt to overturn the Joker's truck with a tactical maneuver. Facing off, Batman avoids killing the Joker by swerving at the last second, crashing. As the Joker prepares to attack Batman, Lieutenant Gordon, previously thought dead, captures him, revealing his death was a ruse to protect his family. The Joker is arrested, and Harvey, safe from the attack, leaves to see Rachel. Gordon is promoted to commissioner and discovers Harvey Dent is missing. In a prison interrogation, Batman confronts the Joker, who provokes him by saying they're both outcasts, and Gotham will eventually reject Batman. The Joker reveals Harvey and Rachel are in danger, trapped in separate locations with explosives. Forced to choose who to save, Batman decides to rescue Rachel, while Gordon and his team rush to save Harvey. Harvey Dent and Rachel Dawes, captured and separated, can communicate via an intercom. As they talk, Harvey accidentally spills gasoline on himself while trying to escape. Meanwhile, the Joker escapes jail using a bomb hidden inside another prisoner. Batman rushes to save Rachel, but finds Harvey instead, while Rachel dies in a separate explosion. The blast severely burns Harvey's face. Later, in the hospital, Batman leaves Harvey a two-sided coin, one side now scarred from the explosion, symbolizing the loss and choices faced that night. Alfred reads a letter from Rachel, stating she intended to marry Harvey Dent and realized Bruce will always be Batman, so she could only offer her friendship. Bruce, mourning Rachel and feeling guilty for the chaos he believes he caused, is unaware of the letter's contents as Alfred decides not to share it, thinking the timing isn't right. Harvey Dent wakes in the hospital, his face severely burned and discovers Rachel's death, filling him with anguish. Commissioner Gordon tries to console Harvey, who accuses Gordon of ignoring his warnings about corrupt officers contributing to the tragedy. Harvey reveals his bitterness and anger, highlighted when Gordon acknowledges the cruel nickname Harvey Two-Face. Maroney, encountering Gordon, suggests he's willing to help against the Joker, indicating the criminal's actions have crossed a line even for Gotham's underworld. Wayne's accountant threatens to reveal Batman's identity on TV. The Joker intervenes, threatening to blow up a hospital if the accountant isn't killed within an hour, causing a citywide emergency and hospital evacuations. At Gotham General, the Joker, disguised as a nurse, convinces Harvey Dent, now Two-Face, that chaos rules and gives him a gun to decide the Joker's fate with a coin flip. The hospital explodes shortly after the Joker leaves, implying Two-Face spared him. The Joker hijacks a TV broadcast, claiming control over Gotham and hinting at chaos that night. Meanwhile, Two-Face kills a corrupt cop who betrayed him and Batman activates a city-wide sonar surveillance using Gotham's cell phones to find the Joker. Fox helps under protest, insisting the invasive technology be dismantled after the Joker's capture or he will resign. Batman agrees, suggesting Fox can end the surveillance himself. Two-Face seeks the corrupt cop involved in Rachel's kidnapping and confronts Moroni, learning it's Ramirez. Moroni survives a coin flip, but his driver doesn't, leading to a car crash. Meanwhile, due to the Joker's threats, two fairies leave Gotham, one with criminals and one with civilians. Both lose power and discover explosives and detonators, with the Joker announcing over a loudspeaker that each boat has the power to blow up the other. They must decide by midnight whether to destroy the other boat or risk both being destroyed by the Joker, leading to intense moral dilemmas on both sides. Fox locates the Joker in an unfinished building and Batman heads there. Two-Face manipulates Ramirez into luring Gordon's family to a dangerous location, then spares her life based on a coin flip. Batman, at the Joker's location, realizes hostages are disguised as enemies and vice versa, saving them from SWAT. He battles the Joker, who traps him under a metal beam. Simultaneously, on two fairies under the Joker's threat, a convict throws away their detonator, preventing them from blowing up the other fairy. On the civilian fairy, despite a vote to act, no one can bring themselves to press their detonator, showing both groups' reluctance to kill the other. The Joker is thwarted by Batman as he attempts to blow up two fairies, expressing disappointment that no one acted as he predicted. Batman saves the Joker from falling, who then claims they are eternal adversaries, and admits his real aim was to corrupt Harvey Dent, 
Gotham symbol of hope. Batman goes to confront Dent, while the Joker is arrested. Gordon finds Dent, now Two-Face, threatening his family. Dent blames them for Rachel's death, deciding their fates with coin flips. Batman intervenes, urging Dent to hold the guilty accountable. Dent shoots Batman, but spares himself. As Dent is about to decide the fate of Gordon's son, Batman stops him, resulting in both falling off a building. Dent dies, but Batman survives, ensuring Gordon's son is safe. Batman insists Gotham must never learn of Harvey Dent's descent into villainy, fearing it would shatter the hope Dent inspired. To preserve this hope and prevent the Joker's victory, Batman chooses to take the blame for Dent's crimes. Amidst a memorial for Dent, whose fate remains ambiguous, Gordon destroys the bat signal, Alfred burns Rachel's note, and Lucius deactivates the surveillance system, all symbolizing the end of an era. Batman's sacrifice allows Dent's legacy to remain untarnished, ensuring Gotham retains its faith in justice. Batman flees from the police, taking the blame for crimes he didn't commit to protect Harvey Dent's heroic image. As he escapes, Commissioner Gordon explains to his son that Batman is the hero Gotham truly deserves, even as he becomes a fugitive. Gordon's words paint Batman as Gotham's silent guardian and dark knight, as Batman disappears into the night. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.